If you're gonna be a leader in any type of environment and you don't like to be around a lot of people, Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your leadership coach, Glastine, with another message that could take your leadership to the next level. Hey, what's up? I am in the Caribbean. Um, what country are you in, Glastine? None of. None of your business. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I am in the Caribbean, and um, I just wanted to take a second to just explain something that someone had asked me about leadership and i just wanted to take a second to share it with you guys and when this question was so kind of thought provoking that i really had to think about it for a minute and when i thought about it i was like yeah it can only be one thing and so here's the question the question was how do you know that you are going to be a great leader or a good leader or a good manager or a good supervisor. How do you know? I mean, really, how do you know that? And there is such a thing of really knowing that you're going to be a great manager, a great supervisor, a great leader, a great executive, whatever that leadership may look like, a great mom, a great dad, a great uncle, Whatever, whatever, however that may look, there is one way, and I think, I believe, let me say I believe that there's only one way to know for sure that you will become this great leader, this great manager. Hey, come on, come on, walk me through a little bit. Look at the scene, look at the scenes for a little bit. You got, you got the houses here, the homes here, which is, to me, this is, this is beauty. Like with all of this that you see here, no matter yet how run down and it may look, the people here are genuinely happy. I mean, really genuinely happy. And I'm gonna get to that question in a second. I just wanna show y'all where I'm at. Can I show y'all where I'm at? Oh. I'm just showing y'all where I'm at. Because this has to do, this is part of the question, this is part of the answer. While we walk down here, and while I'm trying to get my camera lady to, to really walk with me, but she's new to this, so I have to, I have to train her. <laughs> um, again, the question is, that how do you know you are going to be, because we're all leaders, right? We're all leaders. I mean, as long as you have the desire to become a leader, you're a leader. Um, leaders are not just born, leaders are developed. You know, I always say, you know, leadership is a lifestyle, it's not just, it's not just something that you do in the office. It's not something that you just do around people. It's a lifestyle. But how do you know, how do you know, Glastine, that you're going to be a good leader? You're going to be a great leader. You're gonna be someone that has influence over people. How do you know? There's just one way that I know that this could happen. I love these. Stores here with these little, these little things. Like if I need a little, a little soda or something like, you know, some of you guys from other countries call it pop. Or if I need some cerveza, you know, if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. <laughs> I mean, you don't drink it <laughs> if you don't know what that means. But how do you know that you're going to be a good leader? And the thing is. I want you to check out this water thing here. How much is it? What is, what is this? 50 pesos. 50 pesos. 50 pesos for each of these water jugs here. And 
people do steal them. <laughs> That's why they got a, got a lock on them. Oh, yeah. These are Somebody worth. Somebody told you gonna take it. These are worth money. <laughs> these are worth money. If you have something like this, you can start a business with just these. These are worth money. And that's the thing, it's just like in these countries, these smaller countries right here, you can start a business from, from nothing. But you have to be that type of person, you have to be that type of leader that, that can influence, that can, that can market yourself. And there's just one way that I found that you can do that. Man, Glastin, you taking too long to tell us the answer. Mm -hmm. I know, because I'm showing y'all this. So when you get around places like this, you get around, you get around places like this, and, and one of the things that I've, I've kind of made myself, I kind of made myself into a person that loves people. Is that, and I'm giving you the answer while I'm talking, so you better be listening. So the answer is this. The number one way that you can tell that if you're going to be a good leader or a good manager or a good influencer or a good supervisor, good in any in any environment is that there's one thing that you have to have. You have to have the love for people. There's one thing. You have to have a love for people. You have to love being around people. You have to um, immerse yourself with, and I think it's different types of people, different types of people, no matter where you are, people has to, they have to kind of see something in you. They And people can feel that love from you. People can feel that you want to be around them. People can even well, now- You want to hurt them. Now that I'm in a different country, I'm in a different country. When I'm around people, people have, they have this sense that I am part of them. They have this sense that I am here, I am not here to hurt. I am here to offer my services to them. They have a sense of that. And I don't, I don't, I don't go in and say to myself, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go around these people and, and tell them that I'm at their service. I don't have to do that. It's just part of me. It's just part of how I interact with people. I go to the store, I say hello to people. A simple hello to someone could just brighten up their day. And when they say hello to me, it, it brightens up my day. And, and just that interaction, you should see how many connections that I've made just by saying hello, just by being that genuine person that loves people and like I always say if you are not a person that loves people you are not fit to be in a leadership position I don't care who you are you're just not fit to do it if you don't love people I hear people all the time oh you know I can't go to this place and it's too crowded it's too this and too many people and I don't like being around too many people well if you hey if you're a you leading, gonna be here? if you're gonna be a leader in any type of environment and you don't like to be around a lot of people kill it kill it it's not for you it's not for you this is probably the most i'm in an environment there are sections of this environment that are potentially dangerous but i go there because i love people and there's places that i won't go <laughs> Even though I love people, there's places I won't go because I am told not to go there. <laughs> so, without it. So, so that's so that's it, folks. Listen, the bottom line is this: leadership is all about people. It's all about building relationships. I don't care what they tell you about. You know, leadership is that. Leadership is about. You know, this and that, whatever. I mean, I think John Maxwell was the closest one um, to a great definition of leadership when he said leadership is influence, nothing more, nothing less. If you want to influence people, you have to love people. 